Okay, Shalom, Shalom, Kwam Yasha Allah, Kuhloyim La, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakahakodash. Double honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone who rule well. And that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. And just want to say the water to all the Aki and Manakwaf that's out here, sincerely keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to the best of their ability. This is Yahanan Nawaf just coming at you with another quick, quick lesson, praying that it's edifying. And pretty much, um, like a testimonial or so, somewhat. Um, and on the names of the Father and Son, Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, those are the true names of the Father and Son. <coughs> and um, long story short, you know, I was out for a walk last night. I like to get out and, you know, get a little walk in. You know, I had my little Bluetooth piece in listening to a lesson. And I was listening to uh, the GMS Orlando camp as I was walking. And generally, you know, it's about a it's about a maybe a five mile walk is what I pretty much do. You know, it's kind of the same route. I do the same route every day. So last night, you know, the spirit was just like, well, no, I cut this way. So I cut down the street. You know what I'm saying? I never I never even changed the route up, but I cut down the street. I cut up another street <coughs> and ended up over by uh, in, a, in an area. Same area pretty much overall, but it was just like I done it differently. <laughs> And I stepped into a store and then as I came out of the store, I seen this. Um, It was a younger Jake. And, uh, you know, and, hey, a, a beard goes a long ways, too, man, you know, because that's how the conversation sparked. You know what I'm saying? But, I, you know, I had my scully skull cap on, you know what I'm saying? Because it was kind of cold out, you know, but I had the Bluetooth underneath. But, you know, I had to pull the Bluetooth out to hear what he was saying. And he was talking about my beard. He was like, yeah, man, you know, gee, I would love to get as old as you, man. You know, I could see he had, a, you know, a little stress on his mind and stuff like that. He looked like he had had a few drinks and stuff. And then he started telling me about a few things, you know, his baby moms and how he's out here trying to do the best that he can. And he was just down, man. I could see it in him, you know. And, I, you know, I, I just got straight to the point with him, man. I pulled my, you know, my little scully off, you know what I'm saying? I uncovered my head and I just told him, I said, well, bro, you got to, um, you know, repent, bro. You know, I said, um, the, the, uh, you know, I told him the true name of the father and the true name of the son. Now, that's the point that I want to make in this particular lesson, because I told him the name and he said it immediately correctly. You know, a lot of people, they don't say it correctly. You know what I'm saying? It, it take them a few times. You know what I'm saying? If, you know, they come to fumble over it. But he said it just like how I said it. I said, the true name of the father is Yahweh. He was like, Yahweh? It's like, yeah, Yahweh. He said it again. I said, the true name of the son is Yahweh Shai. He said, Yahweh Shai? I'm like, yeah, you know. And we kicked it for a hot second. It was a quick little brief little kicking, man. And we weren't talking no more than about, man, 90 seconds, probably two minutes, three minutes at most. And I don't even think if the conversation was that long. But, you know, I told him, you know, how, um, you know, the problems that he was going through that, you know, we're going to go through those as a people and especially as so-called black men. I said, um, because of the curses that were under, I explained that to him real qu quickly. You know, you can't go into everything, you know, but I gave him the basics, you know, and especially the name. But I know that name is very, very important because at the end of our conversation, because he, he, he was asking me while we was talking, he said, say the name again. And I said, Yahweh. He said it again, Yahweh. You know, I said, you know, Yahweh Shai. He said, Yahweh Shai. I said, I said, keep saying, say it a few times. But as the conversation ended, Cause you know, we was on the sidewalk, you know, it's night, you know what I'm saying? He's walking his way. I'm walking my way. You know, we just crossing paths and you know, I, I told him, I said, cause he said, you know, he, you know, he was talking about how he was, you know, he was into, um, you know, uh, the Bible and stuff like that. And I said, well, Hey, you got to call on the right names. I said, you know, I said, now pray in that name, pray to the father, Yahweh, in the name of his son, Yahweh Shai. He said a quick prayer right on the spot. <laughs> like I wasn't expecting it. He said a quick prayer, man. When I tell you though, the way his face lit up and the way his eyes lit up, and he, you know, he just had this big, huge smile on his face, and he was really like a big kid, man. You know what I'm saying? He, he, he was, he was like, he was, he was, he was like prancing up the block, like you know what I'm saying? You know, kind of yelling back at me because I, you know, we kind of parted ways. But man, he was prancing up the block, like you know how a kid skip, you know, a kid skip when they happy. That's how he was. He was still calling on the names of Yahweh and Yahweh side. He just kept saying it. I heard him, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm re, you know, headed, you know, I'm at the end of the block. And he, I, I can still hear him yelling out, you know what I'm saying, Yahweh and Yahweh side. But he was so happy, man. It, it really brought some peace to him just that quick. So I seen the power, you know, of Yahweh's name man, and, and, and his son's name. 
And that's why it's so important that, you know what I'm saying, we bring those names out. Man, that's one of the most important things when we're out here on these highways and byways, man, is bringing out the Lord's name. That's why it, it, it pisses me off so much when I see these camps like IUIC and all these different camps. You're using Christ and all this other shit. Man, tell the people the name, man. That's the most important part of this truth. They can't repent unless they know who they're repenting to. You see what I'm saying? But let me just grab a quick scripture. And you know what, too? Let me get this, too. Because... Because had I not took that route and, and you know, well, you know, man's going to love Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. I wouldn't have been able to disobey that anyway, basically, you know, because, you know, I heard him and I heard it, heard it in the spirit. Like, walk this way. Cut down this way this time. Don't don't you know, don't don't go your regular route this time. And that's how I ran across this guy, man. And it was all a meeting from Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah because he wanted that guy to know. And that's that's important to know when it comes to the elect. Of Israel, man. We don't know who the elect of Israel are. We don't know who's gonna, where you're gonna be. Cause see, you can be out of, man, I don't care where the fuck you at, man. You can be out in the middle of the woods by your damn self, man. And somebody could be walking through, just walking through that motherfucker. And, 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 and the Lord may want them to hear the truth, man. So it's not about a location, so to speak. I mean, we go out on the highways and byways, but still, if the Lord wants a person to hear the truth, they're gonna hear that truth from whoever he wants, wants um, them to hear it from. But this is um, Proverbs 20 and 24, man's goings of the Lord, Yahweh. How can a man then understand his way? So our steps are ordered by Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. You know? It literally, it was like the spirit literally pulled me and turned me and, and I walked a whole another direction. And, and all that, it, all that down to the millisecond made me meet up with this guy. And, you know, I kind of broke, <laughs> I kind of went into a, a couple of things with him and stuff. Because he was like, man, I hope I get as old as you. I guess he's just seeing, like, you know, the hoariness of my beard. You know, my beard is pretty white. You know, it's pretty much, it's getting, uh, getting to a point of turning all white. I still got some black in it. But, <laughs> but you know. And, you know, I had to tell him straight up, too, you know, um, that you getting to my age, it may not happen in this lifetime. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, I was telling him how America is going to be destroyed. I told him that real quick. You know, I, you know, I'm like, because people be looking into the future and they, they really thinking that this place is going to last a long time. And it's not, man. If this place lasts another three years, I, I'd really be surprised. And that's just me speaking as a man, man, you know, but and also him calling on those names as well. I didn't get to tell him that, you know, now, you know, these names and you're calling on these names, you know. Things are going to get even more harder for you, basically, because the scripture talks about um, you. Let me matter of fact, let me get it. It's in um, James. Also in the Apocrypha as well. Uh, let me see. What is it? Is it one? Yeah. Uh, James one and two, my brother encountered all joy when ye fall into diverse temptations, knowing that knowing this that the trying of your faith worketh patience but let patience have her perfect work that ye may be perfect and entire wanting nothing so basically when you come into this truth you're going to go through a few things well let me get this one that's not really what i want to get uh let's see here salakia kind it's the one that i wanted ecclesiasticus chapter two also known as the book of sirach in verse one, it says, my son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. And that's what, you know, I didn't get a chance to tell him that, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, hopefully that brother runs across some, you know, some, the Lord going to set him up, man. If he if he wants him to get more information, I'll put it that way, you know, but if he's if the Lord going to set him up to get more information and him really, truly coming into this truth, he's going to go through some temptations. He's going to go through some things. It says, set thy heart aright and consistently endure and make not haste in time of trouble. Cleave unto him and depart not away that thou mayest be increased at thy last end. Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully and be patient when thou art changed to a low estate. For gold is tried in the fire and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. Believe in him and he will help thee order thy way aright and trust in him. Yea, the fear of the Lord, wait for his mercy. Go not aside, lest she fall. Ye that fear the Lord, believe him, and your reward shall not fail. So pretty much, you know, hey, you, you know, the point is, once you come into this truth, you're going to go through some things. 
you know, because the Lord is going to be purifying you and breaking, th breaking you down to build you back up, to, to rid you of, you know, old ways and, um, you know, your works of darkness and things of that nature, according to, um, you know, Romans 13 and 12, you know, where it talks about, uh, you know, putting off those works of darkness, which is, you know, the sins and the things that were, were, were so used to just giving it to the carnal body, you know, when you become, you know, you, you want to give more to the spirit. You have to, you know, shed all the bullshit, all the, all the, all the, the, you know, the sins, all the things that can keep you from growing. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, I just wanted to just touch on that for a hot sec. It was a quick little testimony, um, you know, as far as meeting that brother and seeing how he just got so happy once he learned and he was calling on him. Now, I'm, I'm, you know, I, you know, I gotta say, I, I haven't seen that before as far as my experiences. I could clear, I could, I could literally see him light up. I could literally see like a light turned on in him, man. He got so happy because he was he was down. He was frowning, you know, he was, you know, mumbling and complaining at first or whatever, you know what I'm saying? But once he said those names, man, that boy had the biggest smile on his face, man. He was geeked. But you know what, though? You know, hey, when the scriptures talks about, hey, we, you know, you, you, you're definitely happy when you first come in. But when you start to figure out the bitterness of this truth, it could be <laughs> it could be wearing on you, you know. Cause there's some sweet to it and there's some bitter to it. And once you get the you get a taste of that bitter, you know, Jake don't like bitter stuff. You know what I'm saying? Jake liked the cakes and cookies, man. <laughs> you get to giving Jake some damn uh <laughs> some some lemons and limes, man, you know. <laughs> and it's not sweet and it don't have no sweetener in it as far as lemonade wise. Hey, Jake not liking that shit. Jake don't like fruits and vegetables, man. Jake like, you know, the the bullshit. But anyway, you know. Prayerfully, this is um you know edifying to um someone out there, man. Use those names, man. If you if you follow in a camp that's not calling on Yahweh, why Yahweh shall get the hell away from them, man. All that that that, that the, the glitz and glamour, those those uniforms, or you know all that you know niggas out here looking like superheroes for real, you know, <laughs> you know with the costumes on, you know the the the, and I'm generally talking about like IUIC, man. That, look, bro, get away from them. You know, I, I, it's a it's a gang of them. If they not calling on Yahweh, why Yahweh shy, man? Get away from their asses, man. Because they're no different than a, these niggas out here probably exchanging Christmas gifts right now. If they calling on Christ, God bless and all that, they might as well be exchanging Christmas gifts. They might as well have a secret Santa, man. For real, because they're no different than a damn Christian church, man. So with that, I pray that the lesson was edifying. Kwame Yashallah.